Dome Sports Talk Worldwide with some news for the world of boxing. Y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, I got some good news in the heavyweight division. Shoot, Anthony Joshua, AJ, gonna fight Hubert Pulev on December 12th, the O2 Arena in, in London, right? And um, and this is with or without fans, right? Uh, I have to offer my apologies to Anthony Joshua because actually, I've been saying I don't think Anthony Joshua nor Canelo Alvarez are going to fight without fans. The Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez fight over the weekend is another example of fights and fighters who fight normally with the crowd on their side. Um, you know, without a crowd, things are different. Those judges are focusing. If your name's not Terry O'Connor, you're focusing on the fight with no crowd, no distractions. That's not good for people who have a crowd behind them all the time. So I didn't think Anthony Joshua was going to be fighting no Kubat Pulev without any fans. Let's see if that happens. I still don't think that's going to happen, but I like the way that Anthony Joshua was talking. He's like, man, you're going to come into my original Lions Den. I'm talking about O2 in London. You're going to come into the original Lions Den. And he said something even new. I want to steamroll through him so I can get to Tyson Fury, right? You know, he wants to get that undisputed fight with Tyson Fury. Um, you know how I feel about that because I don't see the same energy with him. Like, for example, I want to get the, that next fight for Undisputed versus Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder winner. I would like to hear him say that. But so that would just make me know, even if Deontay Wilder were to beat Tyson Fury, right? Because if they fight, because it's still possible, if they fight, then he's still going to be that animated to get Undisputed because I've seen him not being that animate about being Undisputed before. That's the only thing. But like, I like his... um the way he's acting right now. I like his, uh, you know, his swagger right now when it's going towards Pulev. I know he knows Pulev is dangerous, right? He know he's dangerous, but uh, he's ready to get in there and steamroll through the guy. That's a lot better than not fighting him at all because I was thinking, you know, something's going to happen. You know, something's going to happen. <laughs> something's going to happen. Um, you know, it's just the way that he's been. I, don't, I thought I might see an injury or something like that. Now, listen. Lately, when it comes to boxing, and not lately, but most of the time, I'm like the boxing Scrooge. You know, bah, humbug. There's just so much stuff going on It's just, you know, just not unfair. When things are not fair, then I can't help myself. You know, it's bah, humbug. You know, and I didn't think that uh, Anthony Joshua was going to fight this guy uh, with no crowd. If he does that, I think that would be pretty awesome. I mean, you know, I'm not going to give him props for fighting this mandatory because that's what mandatories are. Pulev deserves this shot and everything. But uh, in, in the pandemic, I would think we're going to have, you know, people going to be stalling, procrastinating, and trying to figure out ways to get out of this fight. That hasn't been the, in the case so far. Let's see what happens on December the 12th. So uh, let the best man win here. You know, Anthony Joshua, uh, I'm glad he's back to himself. You know, when he go, when he lost at Ruiz, you know, we know he gets touched. We know he, he has chin issues, but we also know from, you know, getting hurt, he always comes back and win except for that one time. He did get up about four times, even against Ruiz. He wants to win the fight. Uh, people say he quit and everything. And then people say he ran against Ruiz in the second fight. And uh, <clears throat> it depends on if we want to call it running. You know, so just be consistent. You know, some people can move, stick and move, and hold when they get in. You know, a lot, uh, you know, Klitschko would, would hold when you get in, too. You know what I mean? A lot of people stick it and moving. It depends. You know, you have to be cons uh, consistent. People who call that running will have to continue to call that running. People who don't and call it boxing and winning, and I think Anthony Joshua, this is where I am, even though I don't roll with Joshua much, uh, but, you know, this is where I am. If a guy wins, I always say the ring is just so, you know, it's not that damn big. You should be able to catch up to him. And it's uh, Ruiz's fault for coming there 280 damn pounds at six feet tall. What the hell is going on? That's his problem. It's not Anthony Joshua's problem. So Anthony Joshua's focus was, let me get these belts. I can come in here one day and sit in the pocket stay in the pocket with this guy another day. Right now, I got to get my belts. And I think that was his priority, and I have no issue with that. But I have no issue with that with anybody, right, who's fighting that way. Even if it's a Tyson Fury, if it's a Lomachenko or something like that, if it's a Floyd Mayweather or somebody who's just winning a fight, right, and doing what they have to do to win, whoever it is. That's a part of boxing. Everybody wants to stand in the pocket and be Mickey Ward versus, um, uh, you know, Arturo Gatti. You know, that's rock and sock and robots and the careers are cut short with stuff like that. So it's it being, uh, you know, hitting and not getting hit. But that's for everybody. Some people use it for some and not others. 
That's not how we roll here. So Anthony Joshua going back to get that second fight against Ruiz and be able to fight another day and do things like this. Now he's probably regained his confidence and wants to go in here and steam roll Kubat Pulev. Good luck with that. But I'm just applauding the fact that he's going to do it with or without fans because definitely that's not what I believe was going to happen. So if it does happen, I will issue another apology because, I, you know, so far, still don't think it's going to happen. But it's sure looking like I'm going to be wrong about this one. And damn it, that's a good thing. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to get y'all.